into your house, up your stairs, into your room, and into your closet. Now, what do you see? Well, I'm here in my closet right now, and I'll tell you what I do see. I see some sweaters, and I see a hamper behind me, and I have some shoes here, but I don't really have anything unusual in here, and I bet that if you went in your closet right now, you wouldn't find anything out of the ordinary either. I'll tell you what I don't see in here and what I need you to point out if you do see in here. I don't see a small zombie alien type creature in a chicken suit. Now why would I say that? Why would I ever expect to find something like that in my closet? I will tell you why. I just finished reading this book. It's called Bob by Wendy Mass and Rebecca Stead and is illustrated by Nicholas Gannon and it is a Charlie Mae Simon Book Award nominee this year. So. This book follows the storyline of this 10-year-old girl named Libby. She goes to visit her grandma and her house in Australia. And she hasn't seen her in five years because she lives so far away from her. And when she gets to her grandma's house, she has this odd feeling that's compelling her to go into her room and to look in her closet. And Libby doesn't know why she feels this way, but she decides, okay, I'm just going to go follow my instincts. So she goes, she opens the closet, and what does she find there? Well, she finds the creature that I just described to you. She sees this little zombie-type creature in a chicken suit, and it claims that its name is Bob, and that Livy and Bob are best friends. And Livy does not remember Bob at all. She has no idea who he is, but Bob knows so much about her, and he claims that last time Livy visited her grandma, which was five years ago, that they had been on a journey to find out what Bob was, where he came from, if he has a family, is he magical, all of these things. And Livy doesn't remember it, but she's really committed to trying to figure that out with Bob this time as she visits her grandma. So I encourage you to pick up a copy of Bob and it's going to be a thrilling book. It's a mystery. And if you like putting uh, pieces of puzzles together and figuring things out for yourself, then you will really enjoy this book. It has lots of twists and turns and I highly, highly recommend it.